I feel like my mouth is under attack. <laughs> I like this one. I don't like vanilla, but I really like this vanilla. What is this? As far as texture, this is the closest to real ice cream. Today I bought 12 pints of non-dairy ice cream. I swear I'm okay. I am just taste testing them to find out which one's the most delicious. <laughs> so there are actually a ton of non-dairy ice creams, way more than I even realized. So to keep it manageable, I decided that for this video, we are going to stick to vanilla ice cream. I feel like vanilla is a good test of the thing that is really hard to get right in non-dairy ice cream, which is the texture. I have definitely had vegan ice creams that were packed with fudge and cookies and chocolate chips that tasted amazing. But then when I went and I actually just tried a little bit of the ice cream on its own, it wasn't so good. You know, the texture was off, flavor was off, something was off. And so I realized you can hide a bad vegan ice cream with lots of flavors and add-ins. But with vanilla, there is no hiding anything. It's good or it's bad. So with that in mind, our ultimate ranking was based more on texture than on flavor. We do talk about the flavors quite a bit in our taste tests, but we felt that if we judged it on the texture that you could pretty much buy whatever flavor you like in that particular brand and you have a pretty good chance of getting a good ice cream. To help me test these vegan ice creams, I have Dominique here. Hello. And uh, we have 12 vanilla ice creams, so are you ready? 12 vanilla ice creams, all right, let's do this. I don't know if I'm ready, so. <laughs> I don't know, we'll try our best. First up in our taste test is the Cosmic Bliss Madagascan Vanilla Bean. This one used to be known as Coconut Bliss and I have tried it before in other flavors and enjoyed it. When I scooped this one, it was nice and firm with a good texture, so let's see how it tastes. It's like coconut ice cream. Yeah, you don't taste the vanilla at no. all. No. I like the texture mm. a lot. It's very creamy mm -hmm. and it's dense. The melting is very nice. The mouthfeel is very good, but it's just, it, it throws you off in terms of you're expecting a vanilla ice cream and it tastes like, it tastes like bounty. Oh, you mean the candy bar? Uh -huh. <laughs> I never tried that candy bar in my life. I no, <laughs> now you know what bounty tastes like. Imagine a little bit of chocolate around it. So that's bounty for mm. you. I don't think I miss much. Yeah, I think that this one, I've had it in other flavors mm -hmm. and I liked it. I think the texture is is, is very really good. good. Yeah. But uh, I feel like probably with those other flavors, it was probably covering up the coconut so that I yeah. wasn't really tasting the coconut as yeah. much. Whereas this one, there's not much to cover it up. Like vanilla is a very neutral flavor and mm. you can really taste the coconut base in it. Yeah. And maybe in another flavor, I think it's good. I think so because yeah, as you say, the texture, awesome. The next one in our taste test is the 365 Vanilla Bean Almond Milk Frozen Dessert. I actually had a hard time taking the lid off of this one because the rim is very thin once you remove the seal. And it was also kind of hard to scoop, but it still feels creamy and the texture looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, here I can taste the vanilla. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. It is. It has... There's a little iciness in it, like a, just a little bit, not yes. a lot. It's not as creamy as the last one. No, and that's what I was thinking. In Germany, it was kind of like... You have like ice creams that are like cream, mm -hmm. so you really have that richness to it. And then you have kind of like milk ice cream. So it's still ice creamy, but it the undertones, it's just from a taste perspective, it Thinner. tasted more like milk also. Mm -hmm. And this reminds me of that. It's not watery, but it's no. more in the scale of cr creamy to watery. Mm -hmm. This one is more towards the watery side yes. than the last one. Yeah. Especially once it melts, mm -hmm. it starts off a little firm and then like when it melts in your mouth, it just kind of dissolves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's nice. The vanilla flavor is okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't say there's any other undertones I don't think no. to it. I think it's sweeter than the last one, right? Oh yeah. 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 It's okay. I, I don't it's love okay. it. Yeah. yeah. It's decent. Yeah. Flavor but better than the last one, but texture not as good no. as the last one. 
It doesn't have a wow factor to it. Mm-mm. Our third contender is Mauna Loa Vanilla Orchid Macadamia Milk Frozen Dessert. This one kind of struck us in the way that it looks a little bit flaky, kind of like coconut, but when I scooped it, I could really feel the creaminess. So let's see how it tastes. It's definitely dense. Mm. I kind of like this. Me too. I was just thinking like, (laughs) I really like this one. (laughs) Like the flavor. Yeah. It's not as creamy as the Cosmic Bliss. No. But it's not as bad as the 365, like as not as watery. Yes, yes, yes. But and the it's not flavor is really nice. Yeah, and it's not so sweet. It's called vanilla orchid, but it almost tastes like an orchid. I don't know what an orchid tastes like, but it has something like almost a floral taste yes. to it. What is in here? Vanilla extract. Oh, there's natural flavor. Okay. So who knows what that is. So surprised that you don't really taste the coconut, like Mm-mm. in comparison to the Cosmic Bliss. Mm-mm. Well, know. that one had a lot more coconut in it. Mm-hmm. That's all coconut versus this one is mostly the macadamia mm-hmm. milk is the main ingredient, then coconut behind it. Mm-hmm. This yeah. is thinner than the, the Cosmic Bliss, but the yeah. flavor, I don't know. I don't like vanilla, but I really like this vanilla. It is good. <laughs> this is really good, yeah. So far, this is the best out of the three. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. I don't even know how to pronounce you, but good job. <laughs> Mauna Loa? It's, Mauna Loa. It's a Hawaiian company, yeah. I believe. Yeah. yeah, this is good. Very nice, Ooh. yes. I like yes. it. Okay. Thumbs up. Recommended. Mm. By the way, I did some Googling, and it looks like this one is probably pronounced Mauna Loa. Our fourth non-dairy ice cream is Oh My Vanilla Bean Gelato. This one was the most difficult to scoop out of everything we tested, and it kind of came apart in chunks, almost like ice. So before the actual taste test, I left it out of the freezer for 10 minutes, but that didn't really help too much. Oh my. (laughs) All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Delicious. It tastes like water ice. So this, oh my. (laughs) That was exactly what I was thinking when I put it in my mouth. Because it has... It's the texture is... Have you had Rita's water ice before? No. But we had water ice in Germany as kids. This is similar to that, where you just have a block of frozen water in the middle. And then some flavor around it. It kind of tastes like that. but right. a little creamier. Like yeah. there's a little yeah, yeah, bit yeah. of cream to it. It's yeah. not like just like sure. a fruit, you know, shaved ice. Yeah. But the texture is weird. <laughs> if you are expecting ice cream, this is gonna put you off texture wise. Like, I can chew into it. Yeah. <laughs> and they call this gelato, which is kind of offensive to all the Italians. <laughs> Yeah, gelato is actually, isn't it creamier than regular yeah. ice cream? Yeah, this is not ice cream, I would call it maximum of frozen dessert. I would say that the flavor is very mild. It's yeah. not offensive, It's except for that the sugar is, it's a lot of sugar and it leaves an aftertaste in your mouth. Oh my. Next up is Revolution Full Throttle Vanilla Gelato. I have tried this one before in the chocolate flavor and I thought it was great, so I have high hopes for it. And already just by pulling back the plastic, I can tell it's creamy. (laughs) And then when I scooped it, the texture looked really amazing. So let's see if the taste matches. Don't disappoint us, don't disappoint us. (laughs) There's something in there. But it almost I like... has a brown sugar taste to me. That could be it. Because I was like, what is in there? But I like it. As far mm. as texture, this is the closest to real ice cream yeah. that we've yeah. tasted so far. Yeah. So this can call itself gelato. Yeah, I would say the flavor is a little underwhelming, but it's also vanilla. And that's what I kind of expect from vanilla because I'm not a vanilla person. It's a mild vanilla. But I actually like that. It doesn't take taste like uh, artificial vanilla. It mm-hmm. tastes like vanilla bean. Yeah. Mainly. It does contain vanilla beans. I don't see any brown sugar or molasses or anything. I like no, it. No coconut taste. No. I like it too. This is really nice. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Mm. Vegan ice cream number six is Forager Vanilla Bean. I have never tried this one, but Dominique has tried it before in chocolate. 
It was pretty easy to scoop, but also felt a little bit icy and it was breaking uh, kind of in clumps. It was also hard to get out of the ice cream scoop. Adventures in ice cream scooping. <laughs> it's a walk of beauty. <laughs> this is breaking weird. It, yeah, it's uh, again more like a frozen dessert. Yeah, it's what not it says. creamy. It tastes creamier. It tastes creamier. It doesn't melt uh, as an ice cream, like the this creamy, this... Mm -hmm. I don't know how to describe yeah, it, so I'm making it's... a sound, I don't know. <laughs> so it tastes creamier than it looks, mm -hmm. but it's still not creamy. It's really sweet. It is very sweet. Could be also because of the cashew. Tw it's the most sugars, tw 25 grams of sugar. Wow. It really hits you. <laughs> it does, yeah. I feel like the flavor would be good if it didn't have as much sugar. Like there's vanilla there. It has there's that vanilla. vanilla. And you do taste, there's this cashew milk base. You do taste that. It has this nutty kind of impression. I don't get that, but I think it's because I'm being overwhelmed by the sugar. By the sugar, yeah. <laughs> No. Like, I just yeah. almost feel like I'm taking a spoon of sugar and putting it in my mouth. And that's probably maybe why they put so much sugar in it to mask the cashew. And Flavor. I think it would be nicer if you had less sugar and you would taste the nuttiness a little more. And then with the vanilla, it would be really nice. Mm. I... It's nice enough, but too sweet. It's too yeah. sweet. Yeah, it's too sweet. The texture's not great. Yeah, it's edible. I wouldn't buy it yeah. again. Yeah. Okay, so this next one is... Wild good. I have never heard of this before. Me neither. But uh, supposedly it is uh, special because it's made with extra virgin olive oil. I don't know how that's gonna turn out. All right. But let's try it. That's okay. <laughs> no dairy, no catch. Okay. We'll, we'll determine if there's a catch. Right. right. <laughs> Let us be the judge of that. It's very icy. Oh my. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Similar to the last. Whoa. <laughs> or even worse. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, right. look at how this is. Oh my goodness. It look. What does that look like? Probably because of the olive oil. It, the way it's scooping though, it it looks... <sighs> what does this look like? It's reminding me of something and I can't pinpoint it. It's like wet sand, but frozen. <laughs> yeah! Mm. Mm. Nope. Oh my god, what is this? <gasps> There's an aftertaste in this where I was like, holy smoke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, <gasps> ladies and gentlemen, yes, we've reached a point. We've reached a point. What is this? I am still tasting this. So the texture is like ice. Yeah, straight up like ice. Carabin gum, pea protein. I mean, you would think that maybe that might help with the texture, but it's <sighs> not helping. Oh wow, look at how this is melting. It looks like literally like juice. Like it doesn't have any cream yeah. factor to it. It's yeah. like you can see through it. Yeah, it's like a slushy is what it looks like. Right, that's a good comparison. Yeah, I don't even know if I want to taste it again because it, like it just hits you. Like Yeah, it does. There is something in there. It's either that fructose or it's this chicory root fiber. I feel like my mouth is under attack. <laughs> It just feels like okay you swallow it and then from the back of your mouth it just starts coming like <laughs> like <laughs> this is this is what 2022 does to us i've never tasted anything like this no. before that's why i can't even describe it i mean it's a little sugary it is sweet but in an uncomfortable way yeah do we even want to bother to say how vanilla it is? There, okay, it's, there's there's vanilla when you first taste it. Yeah. First. But then everything else, just oh, like the sugar and... It's just awful. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just awful. Here it's the what first is, ingredient. What is the base? Filter water fru fructose is the second ingredient? Yeah. And then olive oil. So there's not even a base to it. There's not like a cre anything no. that's providing any cream. No. This is, this is bad. <laughs> it is shockingly bad yeah I, I, no yeah no sorry no next up is so delicious vanilla wonder milk i had actually never heard of this one before and neither had dominique so i don't know well, what what the base is here oh filtered water is the first ingredient oh <laughs> uh oh and then sugar and then coconut oil oh no 
Uh, oh, we're, we're, I'm already judging this before I've even tasted it. Yeah, don't. It. <laughs> oh, my. Is, no, let's, let's stay brave and let's stay unbiased here. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. At least they didn't put any promises on the label. That's good, that's good. <laughs> I, I think the, the, the promise on Wonder Milk is already very bold. This is a wonder, we'll see. Well, well this is creamy. Yeah. This is a big difference from the last one. Yeah. The I mean, considering nice. the ingredient, like, these ingredients are reminding me of that last one with the olive oil. Yeah, that's why I... I... <laughs> but, it, I mean, at least it, it really looks like cream. It does, yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is, like, really nice in going in with the spoon. Mm-hmm. I like this one. <laughs> or maybe it's the other one from the other one before that. I really like this one. <laughs> yeah. It's really sweet also. It is sweet, yes. But the texture is really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, I I'm shocked because like there's no base. It's exactly what we were saying about the last one. Like, why would you think it, it would be creamy? But it, no. it is. Yeah. I think my only complaint is that it's just too sweet. When you compare it to dairy ice creams this is like very similar to me yes and this is like you know when you have with dairy ice creams you usually have two types of vanilla ice cream one is like vanilla bean and the other one is like very yellowish mm -hmm. and with the artificial flavoring this is more leaning towards that side and the that's artificial? why artificial yeah Mm. Not in a negative way that the taste of vanilla is artificial, but from the sweetness level. But I really like this one. Yeah, I, I like it and it, it really does t have a taste of like what I remember ice cream tasting yes. like in my yeah. childhood. It really does. Mm. I don't know how they did it <laughs> with the ingredients in there. Let me see how much sugar. 20 grams of sugar. Okay. It's not the highest. No. It's pretty high. I'm actually really happy right now. This is very yummy. This is a good apple pie one, I think. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That you can put on a warm apple pie. Yeah. Yes. This is one of the, the of the better ones. It's not For really sure. top slot, but I would buy it. I would Me too. Yeah. I mean, depending on what you're going for. Like I feel like the the second one, the Mana Loa, um, that one is more of a a gourmet yes. type of flavor, yes. Yes. where this is like classic this American you know. vanilla, yeah. vanilla ice cream apple yes. pie. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's it's Me a neither. good texture. It's, it's really good. Congratulations, so delicious. Yay! <laughs> Our ninth vegan ice cream is Target's favorite day vanilla bean almond milk frozen dessert. When I scooped this one, it was very firm, and the texture felt a little icy and a little creamy at the same time. Uh, hmm. It's a bit hard to get through. It's yeah. not creamy. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh no. It's again this milk. It tastes like water to me. No. <laughs> yeah. Really? I taste the almonds. It's... It has a strong almond taste. I don't. I, I'm not getting like much of any flavor in this. At See all. the the, the white good killed all of her senses. <laughs> it's like the attack was successful. There's no more. There's nothing left there. No, there is actually the the almond. As you say, it's very watery. Yeah, the texture is watery, and I just don't feel like there's m enough flavor. I mean, from a vanilla standpoint, yeah, we had better ones. Yeah, you can almost taste the almond more than the vanilla. <laughs> now you taste the almond. <laughs> Usually the ice creams with almond bases are kind of neutral. So I'm surprised yeah. to taste the almond so much mm -hmm. in here. And uh, this one has a lot of sugar as well, 21 grams. Mm -hmm. And I taste that. Mm -hmm. It's edible. It's edible, but then again, why bother? So it's uh, living up to its store brand stereotype. Yeah. <laughs> See, you can get your money back. Oh, it is guaranteed to be a favorite or your money back. Okay. <laughs> Target. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm coming back. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. See soon. No, it's okay. Good it's job. just yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's on the lower rank. Next, we have Noble Vanilla Bean, which is oat based. I have never tried this one, but Dominique has tried the chocolate. The texture on this one is looking somewhere between creamy and icy based on how it's scooped. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my God. 
This tastes like oats. Well, what do you know? No, it's but like based. really, it I mean, it, that's, it that's tastes the, like oatmeal. That is the the flavor that hits you hard. Yeah, it's it's not <laughs> vanilla. This is like, yeah, it's oatmeal but frozen. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Does the chocolate taste like that? It's been a while since I have tasted it. I wasn't a fan of the no bowl. I think it is worse because it is uh, vanilla. Yeah. And as we said, vanilla is a very neutral flavor. So you really taste the base. Yeah, I can't even taste the vanilla. Mm. I, I mean, mm. it just tastes like oats and sugar. Mm -hmm. 18 grams. Yeah. So not the highest, not but... Not super sweet, but I think for the chocolate, it wasn't as noticeable. But again, I wasn't a fan. I'm, I'm not too keen on the texture either, mm -mm. and that's probably the point. Yeah, it's like halfway between the creamy and watery scale. It's yeah. not fully watery, but it's getting there. Yeah, yeah. And the texture has a little bit of that icy texture to yeah. it. I'd rather um, no. Yeah, I would not recommend this no. one. Since we had a bad <laughs> oat one. <laughs> Ooh, let's switch it up. Uh, yeah, here's another oat one. More oats, Ooh, okay. So we can compare them back to back and... We'll see how they oh and bold promises in the no promises just oh. we made this for you okay <laughs> okay fair enough oh this is creamy so yeah really creamy uh huh mm -hmm. it's very very white yes which looks more gourmet than the cheap artificially colored flavored ice creams oh it goes through nicely when mm -hmm. you like go in with the spoon yeah, yeah. just all right. <laughs> Mm. Mm hmm definitely not oatmeal mm -mm. this is good this is very nice the creaminess is very good mm -hmm. i wouldn't say it's the best flavor no but it's not bad and it's definitely a lot less sweet than the noble 18 grams but it tastes less okay. and yeah it's weird because yeah. the last one you really, it tastes like oats, and this one doesn't taste anything like mm -hmm. oats. Mm -hmm. Just tastes like pretty close to ice cream. Yeah. I don't know if it's the best texture we've had. No, but this is one of the better ones, I would definitely say. Definitely, I, uh, so far, top five. Top three. Yeah, this could fool you for dairy, I think. Yeah, yeah. If you serve this to somebody who's not vegan, they're not, if you don't tell them it's not ice cream, I don't think they're going to notice. No. At least. Let's say at least someone who eats dairy ice cream wouldn't frown upon this. Right. Thumbs up. Yeah. Good stuff. I like it. Yeah, me too. Cool. <laughs> And our last contender is Natamu Vanilla Bean. I have tasted this one in the past together with my vegan apple crisp. I will leave a link to that recipe below if you're interested. But the texture so far seems good. It looks, yeah, it looks convincing. Specs. Well, coconut is there immediately. Yeah, and sugar. Mm -hmm. It almost has, again, that like brown sugary taste. The texture tastes more icy than when you scoop it. Yeah. Like when you scoop yeah. it, you're not, ex it, it's very creamy, but then when you taste it, it doesn't taste as creamy as it no, looks. No, because it looks very convincing. I mean, it's almost more sugar yeah. than vanilla. It tastes really sweet, and it's just the least amount. Is that because of the agave? No, because agave is sugar. Yeah, but maybe it has. It's a 11, it. 11 grams of sugar. Okay. I mean, that's the lowest out of all of them, at least the ones that I looked at. Mm -hmm. So that's good if you're conscious about sugar. Mm -hmm. It is not bad. Right. It is a good alternative. But it is an alternative. So this one I think is okay. Decent, yeah. Yeah. You want to start with the worst? <laughs> <laughs> well, we know what the worst is, right? Mine? No. Okay. And then there's the second worst. What was it? This one. <laughs> second worst. Oh my. Okay, so okay. This one can be our third worst, right? Do you think? The noble? Yes, because it was too much oat, oat. flavor. And then favorite day. Favorite day 365. 
So, and then we're then forager, right? Forager. Well, forager or not a moo. I think I think not a moo better than is yeah, better than forager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. It's I would great. say these five are the best: yeah. the Revolution, Mauna Loa, So Delicious, Cosmic Bliss, and Oli. Revolution, I think number one. It's, uh, yeah. Oatly and Cosmic Bliss, I put them kind of similar, right? And I like Oatly more. Yeah, so I agree. I, I, Oatly's better than Cosmic Bliss. Yeah. Because of the flavor. Yes. I think texture-wise, very similar. Yes. Oatly had a little more flavor yes. than the Cosmic Bliss. The Wonder Milk has a better texture. The Mauna Loa has... Mauna Loa has a better flavor. A better flavor. For ice, ice cream is such a thing with texture that actually texture beats... The flavor. The flavor, right? So it's like I kind of like I I really love the flavor of that one, but I also kind of want to move it down because of the texture. Yeah. So how far down we're gonna put it here? Fifth? No, I didn't care I've... for the cosmic bliss. Okay. Well, that, that, but that's just me I, because it it is too coconutty. Mm -hmm. This one is not coconutty True. or anything. Um, but the, yeah, the Cosmic Bliss has better texture. True. But not, I mean, it's this one wasn't a bad, the Mauna Loa wasn't a bad texture. No. It was just no. not, not that dairy, creamy, right. like you're not, like you said, not going to fool anybody right. that it's vegan. Right. But what, what do we base this on? Maybe we do need to. Texture. Yeah, we do need <laughs> so to flip it then. Then we do need to flip it. Then well, that's, a, yeah, that's the question. Is it texture or flavor? So. Well, we said it is texture because. Okay. That's why it moved down so much. Well, if we're going texture, yeah. Revolution, So Delicious, Oatly, Cosmic Bliss, Mauna Loa. Yes. But the Mauna Loa has an asterisk with that the flavor is really good. Yes. So it could be moved up depending on your priorities. Uh, yeah. Uh, it could move up a couple of spots if you go for taste. And I think I would buy any of these five. Yeah, and even I think the Nada Moo, yes. I would buy that as well. Yeah. Uh, the Forager, I don't think I would buy. Nada Moo, yes, I would buy if I needed a vanilla and that was what's available. Right. I would be fine with it. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Clear winner. Well, there we go. Yes. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> we did. Congratulations. Our tummies hurt. <laughs> we have a sugar. Our mouth tastes like sugar. <laughs> Everything tastes like sugar, but we did it. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Steph. That was fun. <laughs> well, there you go. I am really happy with how this turned out. We found several really great options to choose from depending on what your priorities are. The top five are all really outstanding. So if you can't find, you know, Revolution, <laughs> any of the other four in the top five are really, really great options for you. Something I found really interesting that I thought I would point out is that our top five ice creams all had different bases. And some of our worst performers had similar bases and similar ingredients to some of our best. In our top five, we had cashew, oat, coconut, macadamia, and oil and starch. The only type of ice cream that didn't have one representing in the top five was almond milk. So it really seems like the process that they're using and the supporting ingredients are more important than the actual base that they choose, which I find really great because if you're somebody with nut allergies or coconut allergies or whatever allergy you might have, there is still a vegan ice cream that is delicious and you can enjoy. I really hope this video has inspired you to try a new vegan ice cream. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Wildgood is on a mission to bring joy and replenish our planet. Okay. Our planet? Did they get the wrong planet? Like maybe, <laughs> maybe people with some different taste buds? See, the, this is it. This is alien ice cream. They just shipped it to the wrong planet. Oh. That's it. Well, actually, now I'm kind of interested in it. It's, oh, it's well. like exploring another culture. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't make this better than this is. <laughs> it's like, don't. This is. No. 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 <laughs>